So this is uh, another theorem, it's super easy, and it's called the one under theorem, and it goes like this. If I have a five with a one under, what would that be? Let's think about this. Five times one over one, that's the definition of a fraction, right? You can bring this five down and replace it with a one. And of course, we just got done saying that any number over itself, any real number over itself, uh, is equal to one. That's why they just went there. And of course, five times one would be just be five by the multiplicative identity. And so you see the five over one, at the end of the day, turns out to be the same thing as five. The one under does nothing. It almost acts like a multiplicative identity. The one under does nothing. So we call this the one under theorem. It says that any number over itself is just the same number as whatever we start off with. Dividing by one or putting a one under does nothing interesting or does nothing to change the value of the number. That number is still equal to that. Okay, which tells you also that every single natural number is also a rational number. Every number can be written as a fraction. Um, and I think uh, that will do it for us. Super easy uh, lecture today. We just did three things. We did the definition of a fraction. We did just one theorem. And we did the one under theorem. That's it. We'll see you guys here next time. Peace.